Hello Pre-K, it's Miss Swan again, and today we're going to take a look at our second read of our story, Farfelina and Marcel. And remember the author, the person who wrote the words for this story, is Holly Keller. Now, we've read this story once already, so we know that Farfelina the Caterpillar and Marcel the Gosling were best friends, but they got separated. So today, let's read and find out how it made them feel when all of this was happening. Let's take a look. The rain fell all morning. It splattered on the pond and splashed on Farfelina's leaf. She found a dry spot and ate it. Because remember, she's a little hungry right now because her body is growing. She doesn't even know it. Hey, said a little voice. You're eating my umbrella. Farfelina peered over the edge. A small gray bird was huddled underneath. Marcel is trying to protect himself from that rain and Farfelina is eating the leaf that is shielding him or protecting him from all that rain. Farfelina looked at Marcel and liked his soft feathers and gentle eyes. I'm Farfelina, she said and slid down to the ground. My name is Marcel, said the bird. He liked Farfelina's smile and her pretty colors. They're noticing things about each other that they like, and so that's helping them become friends here. The rain turned to a drizzle, which means it's not raining that hard anymore, and Farfelina wanted to play. I'll hide and you find me, she said. Marcel agreed, said yeah. Awesome, let's do it. Farfelina hid under a fern close to the ground because she knew that Marcel couldn't climb. Right now, Farfelina is being very considerate of her friend. She's thinking, hey, he can't climb up the tree like I can, so I'm gonna be considerate and make sure wherever I hide, Marcel will be able to find me. Now I'll hide, said Marcel when he found her, and he hid right behind the tree because he knew that Farfelina moved slowly. So Marcel is also being considerate because he knows that because she's a caterpillar, she can't go very far and she can't go very fast. So he didn't want to go too far away. Farfelina would be very tired trying to find him. He's being so considerate as well. I can take you for a ride on the pond, said Marcel. Farfelina inched her way up to Marcel's back. You tickle said Marcel, and he slipped into the water. Farfelina giggled. There's so much to see, she said. Oh, they're having such a great time as friends right now, boys and girls. They are able to do new things that they've never done before. Farfelina has never been inside the pond. She's never had that opportunity because she's just a caterpillar. And so now that she's on the pond, she's able to see so much more. Farfelina and Marcel played together every day. They liked the same games and they liked each other. They were friends, boys and girls. But one day, Farfelina was not herself. I'm not sick, she told Marcel, just a little mm, uncomfortable. She just doesn't feel like her normal self like she does every other day when they play. So she's really not feeling like playing right now. I need to climb up onto a branch and rest for a while. I'll wait for you, Marcel called. As Farfelina made her way up the tree, Marcel watched until Farfelina was completely out of sight. Then he settled himself in the grass and waited. So right now, boys and girls, Farfelina needs to go to a safe space and just kind of take her time and rest so she could feel better. And Marcel, he understands, so he's just waiting for her patiently. Night came and then morning, but Farfelina didn't come down. Marcel called to her, but she didn't answer. He was very worried and terribly lonely. Boys and girls, Marcel was thinking, oh, she's just not feeling well, maybe she'll go take a nap. But it's gone to nighttime and then it's gone to the next day in the morning and she still hasn't returned. That's starting to make Marcel feel very worried. He's probably thinking, where is my friend? She was only supposed to be gone for a, a, maybe an hour and it's been hours and it's been a whole day now. What could have happened to her? And now he's thinking, 
I'm all alone. I have no one to play with. That's someone I play with every day and I haven't seen her. I hope she's okay. Weeks went by. The afternoons grew longer and warmer and Marcel went to the pond. Weeks have gone by now, boys and girls, and he still has not seen Farfalina. Poor Marcel. But I've noticed again, it's now warmer outside and the days are growing longer. So what season is it? That's right, it's summertime now. Well, Marcel, he was growing. And when he looked at his reflection in the water, remember a reflection is like when you look in the mirror and you see yourself, he's looking in the water, he sees himself and says, he could hardly recognize himself. He didn't even know that he had changed. Weeks have gone by. He hasn't been back to the pond and looked in his reflection. Look, he's all the way gray here. Now he's gray, but he has some darker feathers here on his neck. And even right here, I can notice in the back, those feathers are getting darker as well. He's changing. He went back to the tree every day to look for Farfalina, but she was never there. But I wonder what happened to her, boys and girls. And after a while, he gave up. Oh, poor Marcel. He was determined to find his friend. He kept going back to that tree every day. He just knew he was going to see his friend again because they had such a good time together. But finally, he realized maybe she's not coming back. And look, I could tell he's so disappointed. He kept coming back and he kept thinking he was gonna see her, but that didn't happen. That has to be very hard to deal with. When you think you're gonna see your friend and you can't, that's very disappointing. At the top of the tree, Farfalina was snuggled in a blanket of glossy silk. Remember, you have to look really close to find her. She's wrapped up in that glossy silk that we call a chrysalis. And guess what? She was growing too. Just like Marcel was growing, Farfalina is growing inside that chrysalis. She's not also growing, she's changing. The sky was blue and clear the morning she was ready to come out and open her beautiful new wings. Because boys and girls, is she still a caterpillar? No, she's not. She has changed inside that chrysalis. Remember, what was that word again that we said when, but, when they change from a caterpillar to a butterfly? Is it metamorphosis? That's it. That is what's happening when you're changing from a caterpillar to a butterfly. That's called metamorphosis. She had no idea how long she'd been in that tree. And she floated down to find Marcel. Did she see him? No. Well, I'll just wait, said Farfalina, when she didn't see him. And she sat on a flower. Look at how much she's changed. Look at those colorful wings. Wow, she's beautiful. Night came and then morning, but Marcel wasn't there. Farfalina was tired and confused. She's probably wondering, I come here every day and me and Marcel play every day. Why isn't he here? I wasn't gone that long. She fluttered around a bit and went to the pond. The pond was glossy and smooth, except for the ripples made by a large, handsome goose who was swimming in solitary circles. Oh. Boys and girls, do you remember who this large, handsome goose is? Farfalina shivered with disappointment because she thought she was gonna find her friend who looked like this, Marcel. But nope, she sees this adult goose. And so she's disappointed as well because she thought she was gonna see her young friend, Marcel. She doesn't know that this is him. She went to the pond every day, just like Marcel was coming to her tree every day to look for the small gray bird named Marcel. But he never came because she's looking for the small bird. She doesn't know that he's grown and that he's changed too. One morning, the goose stopped his silent rounds and spoke to her. You must like it here, he said. Farfalina fluttered a bit. I've been waiting for a friend, she said sadly, but I don't think he'll come. She's still looking for Marcel, so she's not giving up. She is determined to find her friend, 
but she hasn't had any success. Marcel liked her smile and her brilliant colors. I know how you feel, he said. I lost a friend too. She just vanished into thin air. Remember when someone vanishes, that means they just disappear. And right now, Marcel is saying, I can relate to how you feel. I understand how you feel because that's happened to me too. Farfalina liked his sleek feathers and his gentle eyes. Boys and girls, they're liking the same things about each other that they did in the very beginning of this story, but they still don't know that they're talking to each other. A ride around the pond might cheer you up, Marcel said. Hmm. Farfalina thought it would, and she settled herself on Marcel's back, just like they used to do when they were younger. It's funny, Marcel said, but I feel as though I've known you a long time. I was just thinking the same thing, said Farfalina. My name is Farfalina. What's yours? <gasps> Marcel stopped suddenly. He beat the water with his strong wings. Then he swam round and round and round. It's me, Farvelina, he shouted. It's me, Marcel. Is that really you? It is, Farvelina shouted back. They looked at each other and laughed. They cannot believe that they've been hanging out with each other during this time and did not even realize that it was their friend. Oh my goodness, that is so funny. They were so confused. By evening, they had explained everything and they fell asleep smiling at the stars. They probably explained to each other. Marcel probably said, hey, I was coming to your tree every day and waited for you. It had been weeks before you came back. And Farfalina is probably thinking, oh, I thought I was only gone for a little while. And when I came out, I had these beautiful wings I didn't know I had changed so much. And Marcel probably said, I didn't know I had changed so much either. But it looks like they are so relieved that they have found each other, which means whew, they could take a deep breath in, exhale out. They feel so much better now. They have found each other. They're no longer separated. Farfalina and Marcel spent the rest of the summer playing just as they had before. Marcel was careful not to fly too fast because he knew that Farfalina couldn't keep up. Farfalina didn't hide in the flowers because she knew that Marcel would never find her. Once again, boys and girls, they're being very considerate about each other and the things that they can do. They're making sure that they can keep up with each other or find each other. That is so thoughtful and considerate. And when the leaves on the trees around the pond turn red and gold, they decided to go south because boys and girls, animals are changing and so is the weather. So when it got cooler and the trees started to change colors, we went from summer to what season? Fall or autumn, that's right. And so the weather is getting cooler and they need to go to a warmer climate or a place that has warmer weather. Because if it's so cold, they might not be able to survive. And they went together. Look at that, boys and girls. That is so nice. They don't want to be separated ever again. They continue to stay with each other. And I know that makes them feel so happy to have that time. Boys and girls, thank you again for joining me for our second read of Farfalina and Marcel by Holly Keller. I hope you enjoyed this read and enjoyed understanding how these characters felt when they were separated. I look forward to hearing your answers for question number two for Farfalina and Marcel.